Hello everyone, Cup here and welcome back to some more Mechabellum. I had to defend against Steel Ball and Mustang Aggression, but it wasn't pretty. So <laughs> this one was a bit back and forth and I wasn't really doing the best plays overall. I think it's really entertaining, but probably also there is a thing or two to learn from this game. Anyways, let's get into it. I'm starting out as Speedspec with Sledgehammers and Marksman. My opponent is Rhino Spec with Steel Bolts and Arc Lights. Right away, when you have Sledgehammers against Steel Bolts, you want to put your Sledgehammers vertical. This is definitely the better choice because the Steel Bolts will then lock on to the same Sledgehammer and not split their attacks and waste a lot of time and it just will take them way longer to get through the sledgehammers if you position them like that. And I decided to get some crawlers behind the tower, just some chaff to buy some time. And here we go, my opponent, aggressive on one side. Brawlers in front, steel balls and arc lights behind. Also tanks, vertical tanks, much better at dealing with crawlers as well. Because they stagger their attacks and don't all shoot the same pack of or the same crawler. It's a lot of damage wasted if they are horizontal, but vertical sledge is really good here. I'm really annoyed that uh, steel balls don't die to two sniper shots anymore. I think like two weeks ago or something, snipers were... The damage on snipers was lowered just a tiny bit and that's enough for them to not two shot steel balls anymore. Yeah, so far so good. Winning the opening. More XP for my units than for my opponent's units. However, I can already see there is one level steel ball already. That's really bad. Level 2 steel ball right away. Also, there's enhancement module. My opponent can just pick it up and upgrade that steel ball for free. And keep continuing to level it up for free in the future. Intensive training also really good though, so maybe also a choice for them. Anti-interference <laughs> anti also good against hackers, so a lot of good items for my opponent uh, potentially, but I'm skipping here. Um, I'm considering getting uh, Mustangs again to clear chaff. So basically I'm considering getting Mustangs and hackers, because that's usually my standard answer for this kind of aggression. However, I wanted to do something different. I think I played a couple of matches before this and all the time I had to defend with Mustangs and I didn't want to, so I'm doing something else now. Um, but it's not the not, <laughs> not the, necessarily the best though. Anyways, uh, I picked up two Phoenixes. So far my opponent doesn't have anti-air and I'm not sure if they are going for Mustangs yet. And maybe they won't buy Mustangs just yet. However, they did, so that's annoying. Um, now they do have anti-air, actually. But still, my Phoenixes can definitely help take down the Steel Bolts quicker. So maybe it's good enough. Steel Bolts going down for the most part. Final Steel Ball. And I got through on the left again, by the way. Got the tower. And yeah, it's good enough. One pack of Mustangs, not yet enough to take out my Phoenixes quickly enough. But here we go. Now there's also a level 2 Rhino coming in. And there's Amplifying Core, which might also be something my opponent can pick up and maybe put on the level 2 Rhino. And I decided, since I didn't want to go for Mustangs, I decided to go for a Vulcan. And also I picked up the Amplifying Core here. So 
I'm hoping that I can pull through with the Vulcan, dealing enough damage, also damage to the Steel Balls to basically stabilize off of that. However, I don't have the best experiences with going Vulcan against Steel Ball Mustangs. But I still decided to try it out. Opponent moving the Rhino to the left flank. Kind of getting tired that I'm going through on the left and getting their tower, I guess. So they want to go through there and maybe take mine. And they also picked up Photon emission and now all the units are buffed and take less damage. So this turn is really bad for me really difficult to beat. Vulcan kind of getting stuck on the steel balls. Dealing decent damage and holding out actually because the steel balls got distracted by the sledgehammers for too long. So it worked out this turn. Sledgehammers, vertical sledgehammers were basically carrying this round because the steel balls got stuck on them for way too long. And my Vulcan could do some work and didn't die. Opponent's Rhino came through on the left, took my tower, but yeah, can't do anything by itself anymore. Okay, so far so good. I'm thinking, okay, maybe Vulcan isn't that bad actually here, so maybe it's going to work out. Picking up Orbital, mainly to take care of the Mustang packs behind. So with the Mustangs uh, dead, if they die to the Orbital, then my Phoenixes can just do the rest. Also picking up a Phoenix to flank there on the right, because that flank is open. Always good to also kind of put some pressure on your opponent's flanks when they play aggressive like this because they want to go aggressive and don't want to defend their flanks. Don't want to commit any credits back there. Uh, picked up some more crawlers to distract and tank and another pack of phoenix on the left there to Hopefully deal with the Rhino before it gets the tower. Upgrading some marksmen, unlocking fangs for free because why not? And here we go. My opponent also went for the orbital. And unfortunately there's a sentry now on the right, so my flank is not coming through. And they went for the suction upgrade on the steel vaults, so they take they can tank quite a lot more damage and they heal, so the moment they are locked onto my Vulcan. Vulcan is dead and there's no way I can survive this. And this happened, so Steelbots locking on pretty quickly to my Vulcan. Unfortunately, like four Mustangs left and they are enough to deal with my Phoenixes. Very unfortunate. Orbital didn't get them all. Lightning storm looking juicy. Vulcan descent could also be good to drop in the back and get the towers. Both kind of expensive though, so not sure. But yeah, I'm picking up the the storm. Hopefully this time actually taking out the Mustangs there. Maybe also crawlers. And also slow and deal good damage to the steel balls. But the slow is also really important because them getting in slower gives my units more time to kill them. And I put the crawlers there with the mobile beacon because I want to pull in the one pack of bolts and mustangs from the middle to also run into the storm and hopefully die as well. At least that is the plan. 
And I sold the phoenixes in the flank because it's not going to work anymore. Either they put another missile or more likely they just put one pack of mustangs there. So it wouldn't, so it wouldn't work anyways. So rather sell it and have the extra credits. I'm picking up hackers here or one hacker, one level one hacker so far. So not great. Um, this is kind of a transitional turn. Hoping to stabilize next turn. So one hacker with the shield now. Storm is doing some work, taking out most of the Mustangs. Steel Bolts, however, locked onto the shield and now also locking onto the hacker and the Vulcan. And the moment that happens, they just die <laughs> and Steel Bolts heal. Again, kind of similar to last turn. Some Mustangs left, a couple of Steel Walls. Well, actually, quite a few Steel Walls. But yeah, not a lot of Mustangs, but enough Mustangs to take care of my Phoenixes. And yeah, I can see the game slipping away from me. Opponent winning rounds and getting a lot of XP on their units and yeah, leveled steel balls and mustangs with upgrades just gets so scary. I'm picking up, or I'm leveling up the Vulcan to level 2 and I'm picking up the Scorching Flames upgrade so they deal more damage. I'm hoping that it's enough damage to actually take out the steel balls. By the way, um, also in general, um, I don't have the storm anymore, but still, against aggressive strategies like this, a mobile beacon crawler pack can be really good. They can distract the steel bolts and mustangs in this case to chase after them and buy you more time before they actually go to your tower so they they lengthen the path that the opponent's units need to take to get to your tower basically also they clump up a little more so if you have some aoe damage for example my my vulcan here um that's really good for them also picking up the oil bomb kind of want to not lose this turn because it's already getting out of hand and i i need to start winning again as soon as possible otherwise yeah opponent's units just level too much sold some phoenixes in the end there but didn't actually get to spend the money anymore here we go everything is on fire on the right so mustangs kind of dying steel balls too tanky to die to the fire and also they heal themselves however with the mustangs actually gone on the right side my phoenixes can do some work but there's still some mustangs left on the left and they take out the tower so yeah like two three mustangs left and they are enough to take care of my phoenixes before they can take out all those leveled steel balls. So this turn also a fail. Kind of invested, especially also with the oil bomb and yeah, the, the Vulcan upgrade and everything didn't work out. So this is not looking good at all. <laughs> I'm almost certain that I'm going to lose this match at this point. But it's not over, so. I'm still trying. Picking up advanced firepower module. And another Vulcan on the left. Here's some trash there. And I'm picking up a level 2 hacker. Also on the left. So at this point I'm trying to definitely not lose my tower on the left first so i want to win the left side
And I gave the module to the level 2 hacker. Can hack... A level 2 hacker can hack the balls pretty quickly. And now I also gave the incendiary bomb upgrade to my Vulcans. So there's fire on the ground now. Hopefully taking care of the Mustangs. So as long as everything small, so the crawlers and mustangs die to the Vulcans and to the fire, then my hackers and phoenixes can do the rest, I guess. But deciding to sell one pack of the phoenixes actually to level a hacker on the right. Leveled hacker, the shields will also have more HP, so that's really good. And yeah, the shield can take a lot of damage actually blocking all of the iron beam. The iron beam actually only took down the shield on the right. However, yeah, um, again the photon emission on all the units on the right, so I'm losing on the right and I'm also losing on the left. <laughs> so this turn looking even worse than last turn. And I'm taking a ton of damage. I'm still alive. So yeah, here by the way, a scenario, why would you pick top supply specialist here? <laughs> it's round 8 and I'm almost dead. Um, I I'm responding to someone who said you should always pick those. Uh, no, it doesn't make sense here at all. It would be extremely stupid. So yeah, anyways, picking up another Vulcan in the middle. Even more fire. It wasn't enough fire in my opinion. Not everything small died quickly enough. And I also have the hacker up, uh, the range upgrade on the hackers. So they can hack for longer. They don't get too close and actually get taken up by the steel bolts too quickly. And another Vulcan on the right too. So now there's fire everywhere. And now I'm kind of sure that everything will burn and only the steel bolts should be left kind of and hopefully my four hackers that I have with additional range can then actually hack the steel bolts <laughs> so the plan that I had all along and I getting the temporary range upgrade as well also mainly for my hackers putting down some sentry missiles on the right, hopefully getting that pack. I'm not sure, probably going towards the crawlers. And on the left, there are no crawlers just yet, but they might protect. And I also picked up a sentry on the left flank. And there is a overlord spawning. So that, <laughs> that uh, sentry was really good there to slow it down. Now it's slowed and can't move into my tower too quickly. Everything is on fire. So almost everything died. Just a couple of Mustangs in the middle and my hackers are actually hacking now and the hacked steel balls dealing good damage as well as tank a lot of damage as well and distract the opponent's units. Opponent decided to go for anti-missile devices by the way but they were not enough to stop the fire bombs, too many, because I built two additional Vulcans. And with everything dying to fire and my hacker hacking the steel bolts, it's now just the overlord left. But I have like two snipers and two phoenixes and they take out those as well. And GG's actually came back. <laughs> this was a very very close match and I actually did not expect to win this. My, my, my Vulcan response in the beginning there was... It's just not good. I never have good experiences with it. I try it every now and then, just like I tried at this match, but it's always bad, I feel like. Anyways, this was not pretty, but I won, I guess. So, hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.